Friends, now we will focus discussion on the materials management. Before we go to actual concepts we all know that in a global context, manufacturing sector has ongoing influence in driving global economies, aspects like globally business models have undergone radical changes in recent years due to high competition, globally reached networks. Diverse customers with their diverse requirements, fluctuating markets, and also extensive use of internet and communication technologies. The supply chain is becoming much complex and vast function for each manufacturing organization, while materials management is identified by many experts as one of the key contributing function which is playing an important role in organization's expenditure, growth, internal costs, and keeping right control in overall supply chain. The cost involved in materials management is ranging from 50% to 60% of the total costs and it depends on the industry to industry and product nature. Thus financial metrics of organizations have major impact from materials management function. In today's manufacturing scenario, demands are not constant but viable based on flexible requirements of industry. Thus it is very important to survive in fluctuating demand, costs, and increased globalization. In a supply chain environment, the need for materials management was first felt in manufacturing industry. However service organizations like retail stores also started feeling the need for this control. And now in the era globalization even non-trading organizations like hospitals, universities, schools, and colleges have realized the importance of materials management functions. Thus every organization uses a number of materials. Hence it is necessary that these materials are properly purchased, stored, and used for business operations. In this process any avoidable amount spent on materials or any loss due to wastage of materials increases the cost and impacts directly to the profit, materials manager don't have responsibility of profit but all materials management employee must have a clear understanding of the profit while bottom line of company's profit and loss is considerably improved by materials management by identifying and successfully implementing cost reduction programs, profit improvement programs and integrated function approach. In the next portion we will see definitions of materials management. Materials management is defined by many authors in different way. Let's define it in simple language. Materials management is the function or department of the organization that plans, acquires, stores, moves, and controls the resources and the flow of materials required for production, assembly, or for direct use of customer. Or another way of defining it is. Material management is the planning, directing, controlling and coordination of all those activities concerned with material and inventory requirements, from the point of their inception till their availability into manufacturing process. In a complex supply chain network, materials management in the global scenario faces many challenges which are supply discontinuity and also referred as stockouts. Breakdown of information flow throughout supply chain partners and planning systems. Inaccurate forecasts, demand and supply uncertainty, excess and obsolete inventory, lower inventory turnovers. Inventory holding costs, inflexible capacity, inventory accuracy. Wrong inventory assortment and classification methods, and wrong inventory decisions concerned with replenishment planning, on time deliveries from supplier. Poor information flow and data management. Every profit-centered manufacturing business in the world want to have smoothly running processes, benchmarking operations, profitable sales, continuous growth, and expansion as a prime motto. But what if the functions like materials planning, procurement, inventory planning, forecasting and distribution planning goes wrong? Certainly no one would like to have those interdepartmental pitfalls occurring frequently and no one would like to have high operating costs, customer loss, customer dissatisfaction, and related business challenges. Let's see what are the objectives of materials management in accordance to overcoming challenges that we have just seen. There are two types of objectives of materials management which are bifurcated as primary objectives and secondary objectives. Let us discuss key primary objectives of materials management. First one is low price buying. It means obtaining materials at lowest possible cost without hampering customer requirement in terms of quality. This indirectly helps reducing prices and keeping more profit margins for the organization. 
This objective can be expanded as incurring minimum possible expenditure on administrative and other allied activities related to purchase of materials and also to keep the materials in stock. Next is, keeping high inventory turnover. Inventory turnover is the number of times average inventory is turned into the sales, hence inventory turnover has to be more and more to have good performance of inventory management function. Next is keeping supply continuity. In case if supply continuity fails it leads to cost of production, also cost of customer penalties also it leads to customer loss and idle production activities. Hence this is one of the objectives where intelligence is a prime factor of materials personal to manage supply flow effectively, this may include managing lead times, safety stocks, advanced planning and continuous monitoring of supply overview. Next objective is maintaining quality of the material to conformance of requirements. To ensure that material has consistent good quality that meets customer demand and service requirements. Next objective is Enhancing firm's goodwill. Materials department has one of the major objectives to keep good relationship with external parties like vendors, freight forwarders, this ultimately helps sufficing urgencies, critical situations, and also trust factor plays an important role. Next objective is Development of the staff, it is necessary to keep developing on skill sets of the staff for any function, in a similar way materials management leaders should also focus on developing staff. Since materials management person is diversely working on major areas including external suppliers, global suppliers, customs, freight forwarders, insurance, inventory controls, forecasting, techno-commercial aspects of products hence it is necessary to develop the staff in multiple ways and also necessary to build a leadership qualities within personnels and this helps building the talent as well developing company's future profits. Another objective of materials management function is Keeping good records. Many activities within materials are dealing with a large data, that includes stock on hand, demand, and supply figures. Each wrong error transaction affects planning. Taking an example if we have physical stock of 100 pieces, and system shows 95 pieces which was an error by a concerned person, but this will allow the MRP to create new supply of 5 pieces which is an excess order on supplier and it incurs cost of not only order values but transportation, storage, custom, admin cost, and majorly lead time. Thus it is one of the primary objectives of materials department to keep all transactions up to date in ERP or any local systems that are used to monitor or track the data. Along with those primary objectives, as materials department is the department which is external focused and it can help many other departments in many ways and hence this department also has certain secondary objectives including. First one is, to assist in designing and developing new materials and products which may be profitable for the organization. Then next objective is, to support make or buy decision. Make or buy decision defines either to make material in-house or to buy it from external suppliers looking at all feasible solutions like cost, time, expertise, quality, and other parameters. Next and one of the important object is to ensure material standardizations. As manufacturing organization deals with multiple parts, sometime even part has major specifications very closely similar but due to few other features like design, color, or material they become different items and standardization fails in those cases. Even it is necessary to have different part numbers for closely similar products there is always a scope for standardization and simplification like material coding, storage, assembly planning, keeping stock of similar material, and combining requirements of similar sub-assemblies and many more opportunities even lies with value analysis and value engineering. Next objective of materials function is to cooperate with an internal department. As mentioned in primary objective enhancing firm's goodwill since materials management team deals with external parties. But. They also deal within the organization with department like customer service, production, finance, engineering and many other. And hence it is required to have approach of good understanding, collaboration, coordination with external as well internal parties with whom materials department works. Our last but not the least objective is. Forecasting. It is always important to manage well in future demands, hence it is always beneficial to forecast on timely basis. Forecasting doesn't only mean forecast of requirement but forecast of prices, forecast of sales, forecast of new customers, 
competitors. After doing a good forecasting, it helps organization to keep business balanced with future risks and opportunities. So these are few primary and secondary objectives of the materials management department.